So someone on Facebook was like, ooh, who can say they've never used numbing spray on any of their tattoos? And I'm over here, eight tattoos in, like... They make numbing spray? So my client came to me today wanting this photo of his grandfather tattooed with a Native American headdress. He said his grandfather always had a quote that said, old Indians never die, they just fade away. And before he passed away, he told him that he was fading away. So I took the photo and did this design and procreate. And then I ran it through my tattoo stencil app. I set everything up and we got started applying the stencil. After applying the stencil, I made sure he liked the placement, the size, um, how everything kind of flowed together, and uh, this was the final result. My client was super happy, and I'm glad he chose me for the job. For more work like this, be sure to check out my Instagram. Links to all my social platforms are in my bio. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be going over my client's request to cover up this Friday the 13th tattoo. So my client wanted a butterfly but she also wanted to keep her lettering. These are the challenges that I absolutely love. So I start freehanding in the background and eventually I block in the butterfly's outline. Tip alert! I can't say this enough, tattoo around the areas that you plan on putting white in. This is going to help the longevity of the white and the brightness of the tattoo. At this point I've already finished a majority of the butterfly's color packing. The only thing that we have left is white highlights. Before I go in on the whites, I'm going to give her a quick touch up on her reds just to avoid any red smearing into some super fresh whites, therefore creating some super not welcome pinks. Nobody likes a murky color tattoo. Anyways, this is how my clients before and after came out today. I just wanted to give her a super shout out and say thank you for being one of my first TikTok followers and being so sweet to me today. I used to be so beautiful, now look at me. My actions are unbeautiful, it's clear to see. <laughs> okay guys, can we talk about this filter and what it does to tattoos? Holy shit. All right, I want to see your guys' tattoos with this filter. Alrighty, TikTok, I need your guys' help. Uh, my mom got breast cancer here recently, so I want to get a tattoo, and I don't have any artistic skills whatsoever. So let me show you guys the designs that I want to get and have them all, like, blended together, you know, transparency, all top front on top of each other. Hopefully one of y'all know how to draw and can help me out or are willing to help me out. So here we go. And if can't help, can you comment and share to help the algorithm help me out, find someone that can? This is the ultimate wisdom knot. My mom is the wisest person I know. It means a lot to me. This is a symbol for courage. My mom's also the most courageous person I know. And she's fighting breast cancer. And she's fucking kicking its ass. Hopefully. Obviously the breast cancer symbol. This is a symbol for loyalty. My mom's also one of the most loyal people I've ever met in my life. Last but not least, my mom is a Christian. So the Christian cross. This is my shitty artwork. I can't draw. Can someone please help me out? This tattoo is going to mean a lot to me. It's for my mom. Please help. Um, if you see this, please don't scroll away. I kind of make art, and honestly, I feel like nobody here on TikTok uh, cares about art. So, if you like art like me, 